Hello everyone. On this pitch stage, it's time for the first pitch from Sensible, the team from Germany. Please come to listen to their, yeah, to their work. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, also, so we, the Sensible team, want to welcome you. We are a team of nine members, and we are from the University of Applied Sciences in Kaiserslautern in Germany. And for our biosensor, uh, uh, we are a group of two, two different fields of study: so applied life sciences and nanosystems and microtechnologies. And uh, for our biosensor, uh, we choose a famous super material, which is ultralight, a very good conductor, about 200 times stronger than steel, yet uh, still very uh, flexible and transparent. So, um, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 okay. And, um, what is it? The, quest the question is, what is it? So it can improve the properties of different uh, yeah, stuffs like a tennis record, uh, airplanes, or uh, solar collectors. And, but also, it can let people dream about visions of the futures like space lifts. And what is it? Exactly, it is graphene. Okay, right. Huh? And Okay, and how to create a graphene sensor in uh, three steps, and probably at home if you have a and have a clean room. Okay, <laughs> and weiter. And step one: creation of the electrical conducting growth paths. You can see here. Step two: protecting the structures with a glass layer. These structures exactly. And step three: we coated uh, our uh, sensor with graphene oxide. Oxide. Okay. Exactly. And um, for the in the digital gold metal uh, microelectrodes, uh, short IDEs, uh, we covered uh, them with a, a graphene oxide, and then we reduced them. And the sensor system have show a very low um, limits of detection, and it's really uh, cheap to produce because you can scale up the uh, production. The fab fabrication and it's uh, really good because you can use it uh, because it's label free detection and you can use it for impedance but also for field effect hello so how does we measure this uh, the, the effects to get some results so uh, for our measurements um, we use the field effect so we have in our reduced graphene oxide we have our electrons and holes and if we apply uh, electrical field, the electrons go from the source to the drain, so we have a current flow. So, what can we measure? So, uh, to, to measure something, we have to change something and to t detect. So, we change. Um, okay. So, ah, yeah. So, if our antibody on top of the graphene catches the anti and P molecules, the electrical field, therefore the charge of the surface changes, and therefore our current flow changes. And this is what we detect. And with our chip, we got um, some nice results so far. And as you can see, the green bar is like the healthy range of your um, pro BNP you have in your body, in your blood serum. And if you go upwards of the green light, then, ooh, Better go to the doctor or take your pills. <laughs> so I will. <laughs> I thank you all for your attention, and I hope you will come to our stand uh, directly there. And you can um, just look at everything we have there. We you can you can touch even the the chips we use and 
Under the microscope, you can even see the structures of our um, IDEs. And hopefully, we can um, answer your questions you have. <laughs> Thank you.